Hey, how's it going? This is Elite G and welcome to Battle Clash. One of the few light games for the SNES. This is an emulator because I do not own a Super Scope thing up in the upper right corner. I do own a game, got it when I was a young kid, but you know, <laughs> for Christmas one year, but I couldn't never play it. But anyway, this game is almost kind of like a movie that came out three years before it called Robot Chop. Um, it, they try to be serious, but it's a goofy and I think kind of funny, hilarious kind of movie, kind of. I'll put a link up of the description, I mean, not a description, a link up to a trailer so you can look at it. But anyway, go ahead and read this if you want. I'm going to explain the story to this game. In the distant future, Earth lives in chaos, and the only order that rules resides in the battle game. But the rental takes control of the world. All battles are fought with mechs called standing tanks. That's T's. A merciless fighter called Animus eventually becomes the champion of the battle games. Mike Anderson, the character you're playing now, who follow was one of the many victims of Animus, refuses to succumb sus sus and trains himself and everything ST related to stop the current chaos and a Binge his father's death. He accomplished this. Accomplished this. He was supposed to defeat the battle chiefs. And this is um, what was his name? Gardo. He's the chief of North America, a hulking grizzly ma mountain man who takes up arms in a giant gorilla-shaped mech known as Grom. He is hot-headed and has an overinflated ego. As you see here, and you're kind of explaining when they're talking, I uh, shoot machine guns to stop the little bullets, the double machine gun bullets coming at you, like I was doing there, and you charge shot, and if you hit them the right time, it stuns them, but I didn't stun them all, I missed that again. And it didn't too matter, matter too much, because he's the you know, first boss. And yeah, anytime you stun them, they can't shoot. You, you stop him from doing anything, really. But, that's it for him. Pretty simple. I mean, he is the first chief. Alright, now we're going to uh, head to our second chief over in Africa. You can't really pick what chiefs you're going to, it's just all in a row. Anyway, I'm not going to talk when the chiefs talk, so I know it's kind of um, distracting if I do that, so I'm just going to have to shut up. Alright, this is our second chief, uh, Rignaton. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Anyway, as he was saying, he put a lot of money into his scarab. And, as you see, he shot him in the eye and did nothing, really. But, if you wait about 20 seconds or so, this might be swaying, his weakness will open up, and... Bam! All I had to do right now is just keep shooting him in the chest and he's pretty much done. Anywhere else is not going to make a difference. But here is the bio, as like the first one, I kind of didn't explain it, I was saying bio. Here's the bio for the second chief. The chief of Africa, Rick is a gluttonous, aristocrat arms dealer, and oil tycoon. He pilots a chubby, heavy armored insectinoid mech known as the Scarab. See, he pretty much has a shitload of money, so he just wants to keep all of them. But, as you see, he's pretty much simple. I mean, all you gotta do is fucking hit him. <laughs> you shoot him in the chest. And the bottom, as you see, is a little bee, which is actually a bomb, which I really 
you really don't need to save him up pretty much. Well, that's it for him. And with this long axe explosion, it is over with. Let's head over to our third battle chief, Lorca, over in Europe. Alright, this is Lorca, the chief of Europe, a very creepy looking and chandrous pilot who calls himself the Lord of Battle. He pilots a frenzy but extremely agile human humanoid mech, who Lorca is his vanity named after his self. This battle can be very, very easy, but I was not so lucky here. What you really want to do is shoot his leg. As you saw I did at the very beginning. Because once you do that, he would fly off in a direction and pretty much be if I could hit him. <laughs> be pretty much simple. I mean all you gotta do is shoot his leg and he won't attack or nothing until his leg comes back. And there is his battle call that they were talking about earlier that loud in town. But well, that's it for him. You know, there is another sequel to this game. I haven't played yet. I might play it depends. Depends if anybody wanna see it. Alright, now on to our fourth battle chief. Um, I'm gonna have to cut half a full bio out because it would kinda ruin the storyline if you haven't seen this game yet. But this is Tasha. Okay, this is Tasha, the chief of South America, and the only female chief in the game, actually. Tasha pilots the Optimus, a flying ST that fires large payloads of missiles. But she is, I think, probably the simplest. Well, nah, she's not the simplest. You'll see the easiest boss chief later on. But, like I was saying before, there is a sequel to this game called The Metal. Flash, it was called. Metal Combat, actually, hold on. Yes, Metal Combat, Falcon's Revenge. I might play it. Actually, I think I will play it, but it depends how many people want to see it, it's sooner will come out. But anyway, that was Tasha. <laughs> what was that, 40 seconds?
next place we're heading to is Asia. And we're gonna fight the chief Alfred. Alright, this is Alfred, the chief of Asia, a cal calorie but calculating genius engineer. His ST has an anti-gravity engine that allows him to fly without the use of rocket thrusters. It also has three orbs that hover around it to deflect attacks, which it doesn't now because I destroyed them all. Now this guy is not really too bad. All you gotta keep doing is charge up your shots and hit him whenever he tries to shoot. And I kind of got hit by that. You see his chest and head area is his weakness, which does more damage. It's pretty much like the same with every enemy, in a way. Yeah, that's not much to say about him. <laughs> He just stands there and gets done lock and why well, destroy him. And that's it for Alfred. The genius engineer of Asia. <laughs> Big ass explosives like a scarab. Alright, now to the final chief of the game, actually. We're heading to Oceana. And he is actually the easiest chief of the game, but the longest chief to fight. Takes a while to beat him, as you will see. Alright, his weak spots are his joints on his legs. As you see, you're really doing no damage at all. What you want to do is just focus on one leg. And when he stops, he'll shoot machine guns either from his legs or from the little guns like right there. And once you're done, do that, he'll open that up and you want to do shoot his machine gun and take a charge shot on one and then it closes up and just repeat the process but once he's once you destroy a leg it would be much easier but anyway here is Antonov the chief of Oceana he govern, governors governs <laughs> governors governs the oceans of the world and harbors a secret ambition to see enemies defeated ST Ivan is a huge crab bag that covers completely in armor and is only vulnerable via its hands. Which I'll explain. As you see, once one leg is destroyed, I just keep on focusing the charge shot and machine gun every little gun they shoot at. Every little bullet he shoots. Repeat the process. Like I said, he's the easiest chief in the game, but damn if it doesn't take long as hell to beat him. Well, like I said before, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna do Metal Combat. I never played it before, but I do like this game. It's, it's pretty fun, I mean. 
some bosses. When I say bosses, we're not done with the game. The Chiefs might be defeated, but there's still a few guys left. And they are a pain in the ass. Or two of them are. But that's it for Antonov. Like before, more armor they got, I guess, the bigger ass explosion they have. Alright, that's it for part one of Battle Class. The next episode, we'll head over to the Tower of Babel and see what awaits us there. I hope to see everybody then.